Hey guys, my name is Tim and today we have 2009 BMW 328i. Um, in this video I'll show you how to diagnose the misfire. Most common problems and what it's gonna take. We're also gonna go through codes and see what happens next. Uh, and here we have uh, iCarsoft uh, scanner. It's a B800, so it's second generation. It's a pretty good one. And uh, we'll go to the DME module right here to read the codes. And what do we have? Coolant pump communication. It's not related to the misfire at all. Uh, then we go misfire cylinder 4 low tank fill level not related at the point cylinder one and several cylinders because it's more than one um, what it means first of all what are we gonna do I'm gonna clear all the codes I'm gonna run the car for a little bit and we see what's gonna come back usually I assuming most likely it's the cylinder number four that is misfiring and it's affecting the cylinder number one and most likely it's the ignition coil in 90% times it is the ignition coil so we'll start with that I'll uh, clear all the codes for now read it nothing yet and start the car We'll uh, run it for as long as it needs to be ran, just till the codes come back. And it's already back, cylinder number four, just as I said. That's the only code there. And uh, shut it down. Take the key out. And let's uh, replace the coil. Uh, first of all, we're going to take all the plastic apart. Here's the, the cabin filter. and. This is the engine cover. In order to do that, we'll take this piece out with a screwdriver. Then we'll take those guys out to free the wire. So let it hang. Uh, after that, what we're gonna do is take this piece out. You see, uh, there is a plastic connector, I would say. Like one side and on the other side is exactly the same one also there is a rubber piece holding it right there so they just slide it out and there you go that's uh that will reveal us uh, one of the main bolts for this whole thing it's right here eight millimeter and this bolt will be different from the other ones uh, if you check the thread and I'll just take you the other one so you don't mix them. So this is the one that holding the cabin filter. So if you compare those two bolts, you can see they clearly different. Absolutely different. So this one goes in here and you will have the same one on the other side. And now we're gonna take other bolts it's uh well technically i would say four bolts on each side so one two three four and the same on the other side also disconnect this uh connector right here take those guys out and there you go slide it aside also there is a uh, one more rubber piece that holding this thing together just slide it out and this wire as well it's not the wire it's the for the washer fluid and then we're moving to the other side same as over there just pop it off rubber off put it right there same eight millimeter and another three bolts then uh, you can move the cabin filter out of the way here's the cabin filter if you need to replace that those are tabs just take them off and that's pretty much it now here's the another rubber piece that holding this uh, whole thing in place so you just slide it out 
put it down. And now we're ready to remove this whole thing. So what are we gonna do is lift it a little bit up, take the wire out, and there you go. The next thing would be the engine cover. That what makes uh, engine bay looks pretty. We have four bolts in here. Those are uh, five millimeter Allen. You can use Torx 30, that's what I usually use. So one, two, three, and four. Usually missing, that's the way it is. That's the way it always happens. And now we can just lift it up and slide it out. Now we removed all the plastic and we can see all the ignition coils right open. So for you, if you don't know, the count starts from here. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. And we have a code for the ignition coil or misfire in the cylinder number four. So it's right here. I'll show you how to remove it safely. Uh, well, we do this, then you just press it. Oh, you see, and the uh, connector slides out. We'll put the screwdriver in here and uh, take it off completely vertically. So I'll take this one off. As you can see, the valve cover gasket is leaking out there and we have some oil on the ignition coil as well. But let's see if it is ignition coil or not. I'm gonna replace, uh, I'll put this coil into the cylinder number two right here. So we're gonna do the same thing. And I'll put this coil from the cylinder number two into the cylinder number four. And number four number two coils are all interchangeable they are not assigned to each cylinder so don't worry about that that's exactly how you troubleshoot the misfire that's the first step the main step i don't want to put the coil from four to one because we had a code for initially for the cylinder number one and four misfiring so i just uh, want to make sure but it usually number four affects number one Alrighty, the next thing, we're gonna clear the codes again, start the car, let it run, and see if the code comes back to the cylinder number two. Press the start button, don't start the car. We have a code for cylinder four misfiring. Clear it, check it, no false code, start the car now. And there you go. Flash the fire, cylinder number two. And that tells us that the ignition coil that we pulled from cylinder number four, which is now in a cylinder number two, is no good. So we need to replace one ignition coil, and that's pretty much it. Take it out and this junk. Here we got a new ignition coil. It's Bosch. That's uh, the only type of ignition coils I recommend you. I really honestly don't like Delphi ignition coils because they are composite of two pieces. This is the one to go when it's a composite of two pieces it happened to me not once not twice but plenty of times when the bottom piece just stays on the spark plug when you pull the coil out and it's really no fun so we're gonna put this coil into uh, back in here and what we're gonna do is just start the car again of course clear the codes and see if it's running fine There you go, no problem at all.
Read the codes. No fault codes. And it's idling smooth. Next thing uh, we're going to do is install this uh, engine cover. I'll take the bolts off. It's easier this way. And uh, put the cover right there. Make sure the holes are aligned. Once again, we're missing one bolt, so the bottom corner doesn't have a bolt. But it doesn't really matter anyways. Most of the cars we service, we see, they only have these two bolts, so you can just take it off without removing the other part. And the next one would be this one would be the hardest one to install back. The way you want to do it, you want to keep this open and put your hand in there. And now so we're going to put this at the angle, just like that. Slide it on, like there's a uh, little uh, pieces in there that go under this uh, weather seal. So we put it like that. Then put the wire back in here, lock it, and now individually on every side we can just lift it a little bit and push it forward. And then this uh, rubber piece slides back in. Don't forget about your wires. I'll show you again on the other side. Oh well, actually it's seated on its own properly, but you need to push it a little bit forward and the rubber goes back in place. Now we're installing uh, those this whole thing is held by this two eight millimeter with this thread not this one this you see the difference right so this goes right here and exactly the same bolt goes right there on the other side. Eight millimeter. This bolt right, right there. After all this in place, uh, we can put this thing back on. There's uh, those little things and this is where it slides in. So just align them. It should be three of them. We have only two. The other one is broken for some reason. And just push it forward. That's all. Um, then after that, we have our uh, cabin filter housing and the cabin filter itself. So let's just put it in there. And those are different kind of eight millimeters. Uh, next thing we'll do just uh, connect back this wiring, put it back in place, and on this side we can use this cover. First of all, this is the way it goes. Uh, you pull the rubber piece out like that and then you slide it in also there is a spot for this water cable or water hose and now make sure nothing is on the way you just push it down and it sits in place exactly the same process on the other side it's just a little bit simpler there is no uh, water hose in there so you just slide the rubber piece first just like that And there you go. Now install the rest of the eight millimeter bolts that hold the air cabin filter housing. 
and you're good to go the car is reassembled So this is it guys, if you have a misfire, it doesn't matter, two cylinders, three cylinders, something like that, first of all, clear all the codes, see what comes back. And then the most common cause for a misfire on the BMWs, especially those N51 and 52 engines, it's the ignition coil, as well as on any BMWs, like it's in 90% of times, when the car all of a sudden starts to running rough, uh, that's most likely the coil. So this is the first thing to do. You don't need to uh, take the coil out, put it on uh, one cylinder and the plug to the other and the ignition, um, I mean, fuel injector to the third one. So you don't have to do that. Start with the coil. It's easy, it's simple, It's everyone can do. The assembly process of all the plastic is uh, exactly the same as taking it apart and I hope it helps you and see you in the next video. Thank you.